CataractCoach.com. White cataract and a damaged IOL. Complicated case with a posterexis and even an IOL exchange. Our guest surgeon is Dr. Utku Limon from Turkey. So a 35-year-old patient with this cataract. You can see some tripan blue dyes going inside the eye. Now we sped the video up to two times speed so I can show you the whole case. And here's going to be the needle decompression to get out some of that intumescent fluid. So as soon as you poke in, you can see how elastic that capsule is. Aspirate, 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 decompress that bag. Rock the nucleus a little bit. Decompress and get more fluid out of there. And that's a very important technique. You can use a 30 gauge needle. I sometimes use a 27 gauge needle. That works pretty well. So making our main incision now. Here we go with the keratome. And now time for the capsorexis. Now this is a fibrotic capsule. So watch what happens. And you start to tear for the rexis, it just gets stuck. And so how do you continue it? And so he's trying to free it, but it's totally stuck. So here's something innovative, using an MVR style blade from the paracentesis to help nick and cut that capsule to continue this, to get the rexus going. And here we go, very nice, keeping it going around. And you can tell at the opposite end that other fibrotic area of the capsule will probably pose the same issue. So moving it around, getting a rexus, and again, it doesn't need to be a huge wreck because you can always enlarge it towards the end after the nucleus has been removed. And we're going to continue it here, and here's where it's going to touch. There's that fibrotic band. And that's just going to prevent it from going. So again, it can be cut with micro scissors like you're doing here now. Or you use an MVR blade, even use a cystotoma needle. And then once that's achieved, you can finish the rexus. There it is. Now, the lens material is relatively soft. This is a young patient. It can just be aspirated out with the IA probe. I doubt there's really any nuclear density. So just going in by manual irrigation aspiration, and there you go. Get all that lens material out. A little bit extra hydro dissection and washing all that lens material out of the eye. That looks fantastic. So cleaned up very nicely. What do you do about that one fibrotic area down there? Eh, don't worry about it. So this patient's also going to get a posterior capsule rex. So you see, poking in the lens capsule there, and a posterior capsule, placing a little bit more viscoelastic to protect that anterior hyoid face, and then using micro scissors to start that rex and making a small central rex here. So there's some scarring of the capsule there, and the surgeon felt confident enough to go ahead and do this technique of a posterior capsule rex. Also, a younger patient, remember the patient's only 35, so the vitreous is more solid and very likely to have an intact anterior face and a lot more support there. So that you're much less likely to have vitreous prolapse in this case. So okay to make this posterior capsule rex a little on the smaller side, and that's completed just nicely. Here comes the lens, the lens is going inside the eye, and what do you notice? There's no trailing hept. So you had a technician who didn't know the lens right, so we're gonna spin the lens over and look at this. Where have you seen that before? That's the twist and out technique that we like to talk about here on Cataract Coach. And that lens can be pulled right out of the eye. Now you gotta be an expert surgeon here, getting the new lens in the capsule bag. The reason you gotta be the expert surgeon is remember, the posterior capsule has already been opened with that posterior capsule rexus. And you don't wanna have any issues of vitreous prolapse when you're trying to do that lens exchange. So luckily, all went well. Now remember this single piece acrylic lens is in the capsule bag, but the anterior and posterior um, capsulotomies make it a little more tricky, right? There's an anterior capsule rexus, there's a posterior capsule rexus, so the remaining lens material is like an empty car tire, and you've got to get this IOL securely placed in that rim of tissue. Now here at the end, remember, young people have more elastic corneas. You've got to be, take your time, make sure all these incisions seal up, and if you need to, like you see here, place a suture. So interesting case here. We learned a lot from this one. So needle decompression was one. Number two was using a cystotome or micro scissors or MVR blade to help uh, cut the capsule to get through the fibrotic bands. And then we learned to do a posterior capsule rexus. We learned if the lens is broken, right there on the spot, do the eye well exchange with the twist and out procedure. And then finally here at the end, make sure this incision is sealed well. And if you need to, put in the sutures or even the bandage contact. Nice result. Thanks for watching these videos, and remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.